At the start of June, we found out that the US government had decided not to replace its fleet of modified Boeing 757s. Typically known by the callsign Air Force Two, these aircraft are used to transport the vice president in the same way that the president uses the government's Air Force One 747s. The news comes after a recent study into potential replacements for the aircraft. Officially designated as the Boeing C-32, the study found that presently no such action is required. The US Air Force operates a small fleet of modified Boeing 757s which provide transportation for leading governmental figures such as the Vice President. When the VP is on board, the aircraft flies with the callsign Air Force Two. Like how the President's 747s have a different designation, VC-25, these aircraft are known by the military designation C-32. According to Defense One, the Pentagon has elected to halt its plans to replace the governmental Boeing 757 or C-32 fleet. This decision has come about after an extensive study into potential replacement aircraft, which reportedly began four years ago. As such, funding for the replacement project has been removed from the US Air Force's budget request for 2022. The need for replacements would be understandable given the ages of the 757s. According to chaviation.com, these aircraft are between 22 and 30 years old. Furthermore, production of the 757 ceased in 2004. However, for the time being, the government is happy to continue flying the vice president and other cabinet officials on these 757s. Indeed, just a few months ago, the head of Air Mobility Command, General Jacqueline Van Ovos, called them quote-unquote very capable aircraft. This is a position backed up by the aforementioned Air Force and Navy study into potential replacements. This comprehensive analysis recently concluded that no impact or actions for the C-32 fleet are needed at this time. The C-32s are extensively modified compared to passenger-carrying 757s. They have a far lower seating density, resulting in a capacity of just 45 occupants. This allows space for features like desks, allowing government officials to work in the air. The C-32 also features military-spec avionics, with certain examples like the C-32B even capable of air-to-air -air refueling. The US Air Force has been flying these aircraft since 1998, and they replaced the VC-137, which had been based on Boeing's four-engine 707. They also transport the President to airports that are too small to accommodate the 747-based VC-25s. While the Pentagon has abandoned its plans to replace the Air Force Two 757s for the time being, it is set to modernize other aspects of the governmental fleet. For example, it's set to receive new Air Force One Boeing 747-8s in 2024. However, this project has been subjected to several delays and other contractual disputes. There are also ambitions to bring supersonic aircraft to the fleet. Exosonic has partnered with the USAF's Presidential and Executive Airlift Directorate to develop such a means of transport. While ambitious, the recent news regarding United Airlines' upcoming venture into the world of supersonic travel may just have brought this a step closer to reality. What do you make of the decision not to replace the Air Force Two Boeing 757s? Have you ever seen one of these aircraft on your travels? Let us know in the comments. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles and a podcast every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe before you go.